Hey vlog buddies, so I just got back from Palm Springs. I'm back in Rhode Island and I went from the 82 degree weather to I think it's like six degrees right now. And I tried to find something to appreciate about every moment and recognize that things are perfect exactly as they are. But I need to tell you that I'm so fucking over winter. I really am. As much as I enjoy snuggling weather and cold and all that, I am ready for it to be warm and for this snow to melt. There's so much snow here, it's gonna be July before it's gone. And uh, as it turns out, I was walking out of my house to let the dog out, and I slipped and fell on the ice and landed on my finger. It's not broken, but uh, apparently their tendons may, be, may or may not be ripped and I have to get it checked out on Monday. I don't think they're gonna have to amputate all as well, but I'm ready for it to, to warm up. Um, having said that, I have two funny stories about Palm Springs. The first was that uh, on my blog I decided to publish the name of the hotel that I was staying at while I was staying there. The hotel is called Indulge and and I thought maybe like, it, you know, it's not that serious. No one's going to show up at the hotel or whatever. Turns out people did. And I was coming back from dinner and there was an older gentleman, uh, elderly man, maybe 75, 80 years old that was standing outside the hotel and he was kind of just rocking himself and he seemed like a little bit lost and I walked by and I said hi to him and he goes Davy? Davy? and it's like really really dark I'm trying to figure out like who's who is this person like how, how do I know him is he staying at the hotel like what's the deal and and he goes oh my gosh I've been watching your videos for like years and years now it's so great to meet you I was just three streets over when I saw that you were staying at this hotel I came over here and oh my gosh this is so exciting and he was like super cute and so we talked for a few minutes and I noticed he was holding this envelope and I said to him what's in the envelope and he goes well when I saw that you were staying here I printed these out there's like 20 or like 30 copies of this in here and it says welcome to Palm Springs Davy Wavy love your fans love you and there's a picture of me um, and he goes I was gonna tape one of these to each of the cars in the parking lot so that when you get up in the morning you'd see it which, like, if he wasn't 75 years old, would actually be kind of scary. But because he was older, it was like, it was cute. It was cute. And so I was like, oh, I was like, well, that's really sweet of you, but you can just give the folder to me. Thanks. And so I took it and brought it home to show you guys. Um, and then the other thing was, uh, and that's another elderly story. There's a lot of older people in Palm Springs for a variety of reasons. But uh, one of the guys staying at the hotel was 88 years old, 88 year old gay guy. And he's a water aerobics instructor in Oregon. I know, I love it. And he was like super hip, super with it, uh, very sharp. And so he invited me to do water aerobics with him. He does it every morning at 5.30 in the morning, which is, I love getting up early. So I was like, great, I'll do it. So I get up at 5.30, he was surprised to see me, but I get in the pool and we're chatting it up. And he asked me what I do for a living. And I can't explain to myself what I do for a living, let alone to someone that's like 88 years old and probably has very limited computer skills. So I'm like, there's this thing called uh, YouTube and I put videos on it and, and he's like, uh-huh, okay, yeah. Uh. He's like, so you're on YouTube? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, are you on Xtube too? And I was like, I was like, how do you know what Xtube is? <laughs> he's like, you're 88 years old. I kind of enjoy, I love it. I love that he knows what Xtube is at 88. It was really cute. So I'm not an XU, but for the Black Spark, I would be. I'm just putting that out there. Um, so, so that was pretty much it. Uh, I'm I'm back in Rhode Island. I'm settled. I'm here for like two weeks, a little bit less than two weeks, and then going to Toronto for a month. So uh, anyway, lots to get to, but I just want to tell you those stories because I thought they were cute and I thought that you might appreciate them. So uh, anyway, I hope that your weekend is great, and I will talk to you again soon. Peace out.